I've been wanting to use one of these things for a good six months. This has been sitting here since the fall. We finally got it hooked up, ready to get to work. This thing, let's see, what does it do? It pulls, it cuts, you can dig with it. You can pull T-posts, metal T-posts if you want to. A lot of uses for this thing. We'll tell you about it and then we'll show you it in action. Stick around. So this is a precision 535 tree puller is what it's called, but it does a lot more than just pull trees. We have this set up with a skid steer quick attach. You can get it with a John Deere quick attach. But be warned, this is 808 pounds. So this is a heavy unit. You need to have a lot of lift capacity on your loader and then additional capacity to lift and pull and yank on whatever tree or whatever else you want to do with this. So it's a big piece of equipment, not meant for your 1025, your BX tractors. You're gonna have to have at least like a 4720, 4066R or bigger, in my opinion, to properly use something like this. All right, so let's give you a rundown of what this is first. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up uh, the listing online. We are a precision dealer, so we can order these for you. We can ship them right to you. We do that kind of stuff all the time. So check out the website, Good Works Tractors. But again, I want to reiterate this thing. It's going to pull trees, okay? So the root balls and everything else along with it, this outer saw edge is going to allow you to drive forwards and backwards. And I think, well, we're going to show you all this stuff in action today, but we're going to have some opportunities on a, on a few trees that I think maybe are too big to pull out so we're going to just try to saw them off and knock them over but you can also close this up and then kind of treat it like the stump wreckers that we sell so you smaller tractor owners you know the compacts and the subcompacts this is too big for you you can still get something that's sort of like it but a lot cheaper with a stump wrecker and pop out those stump small trees and everything else but they even designed it out here on the end of the jaws to allow it to close and clamp tightly right around t-posts so that you can even get those and still pull them out if you're trying to redo uh, all your fencing there so they got a lot of things going on and of course you're going to see some other pullers out there that don't have this big protective cage and you know it does impact your your visibility a little bit but you can still see through here it's not like it's the end of the world and i would probably trade this bit of extra safety for the operator for not having it and um, it's just three bolts on either side so six bolts total it came in requiring very minimal assembly but that's going to be about protection for the operator now down here is where you're going to have your movement this is the jaw that opens and closes and this is a telescoping cover and as this slides closed it's still going to be protected this outer cover slides over top of the inner cover to keep the uh, the cylinder and the rod completely protected as you are doing your work even all the way up here this is the cover going across the hoses and then you have uh, the tainment they call it which is very nice and handy i got to see if i can get some of these for some of my other attachments that don't have it and if you take a look at these jaws in general you're going to see a lot of different cutting edges this is going to be a double edge going all the way across here on both sides of the jaw you're going to have another additional one up here if you need to get down into the ground this is going to be your root ripper essentially because you can strike down into the ground and move back and forth and really rip and destroy those roots and free up things and then of course you do have the outside over here which that's meant to be more like a sawzall or just a saw you drive the machine forwards and backwards just slowly just chopping the tree down essentially and you still have this cover so that everything even if it does lean into the, the cover right here it's gonna drive forward it's not gonna come back on the operator now, just for reference, I'm six foot three. So yeah, this thing is six, eight inches off the ground, but it's <laughs> nearly as tall as I am right here. So this is a big piece of equipment to give you some scale. But I mean, everything about this is beefy from the tube steel all around the frame. These cutting edges are just, I don't, these might be three quarters of an inch thick. I mean, everything is beefy and chunky and looks like you'd have a real tough time destroying it. And so Precision is one of those companies that I like to work with because they're never happy with just leaving things as is and so they've made some improvements i mean they've lengthened out the jaws to have more digging 
uh, ability. So they're six inches longer than they used to be. They doubled the size of the root ripper here. They're just continuing to do things to try to get better, give you more value, more bang for your buck. They're listening to customer feedback. So that's a sign of a good company, a good partner that I want to work with. All right, that hits the high points. If you want to get all the nitty gritty, just check out the listing on our website. You can get pricing there too. Again, we ship all over the country. We sell all kinds of tractor and skid steer attachments for front end loaders for three point hitches. So check us out, give us a shot. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you are feeling tippy on your tractor, adding wheel spacers can make a big difference. Boro Spacers are made in America. They have a lifetime warranty. If you'd like to get more information, we'll put a link down below on where you can buy them. But now it's time to get to work and see what this bad boy can do. shot here I um, don't know I think I go as low as I can I don't know here we go girl roll pull girl roll maybe I need to loosen it up first just trying to loosen this loose bad boy up it's a pretty good set try to pick this up on either side
11 inches at the base probably. It's a pretty big tree. Pretty, pretty big. Pretty big tree. Oh. It's uh, even. It's, it's got it. I'm trying to drop this forward. Got that hole there, but I think I'll be okay. Cool. Can't do that with a tractor. Probably a better angle to come at this one. Being a double two trucker, but I guess it didn't matter a whole lot. It's up here with this. Different trees, different root systems. Take some of that stuff off. Get this one that's overhanging the trail here. Might just have to get a little stuff, maybe not. Give this a shot here. Oh, then he was working. Try it.
a lot of frozen ground for whatever reason right here. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. This is phase two or step two of getting our trail from the hillside down to the lake. First we came through with the grapple. Now we're using the tree puller. Next step is gonna be uh, probably using a brush hog or something to get all the other little debris all chopped up. And then we're gonna, well maybe I should come through with a rake after that actually. Rake all this stuff off, get the top layer off, and then start scraping away topsoil so we can put down a good roadbed. Anyway, I'm not a professional doing this. I am just showing you what these tools are all about and kind of learning as I go. If you have tips to share, I'd love to know about them. Help us all out, leave a comment down below. This thing was an absolute blast to use. I am gonna find a lot of other applications for it. I'm certain of it, but built like a tank, worked like a piece of cake. This is a big old chunk of frozen ground here. I thought there was a, uh-oh. Watch out. Watch out. Can you get that film? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it just a little set. I thought I was gonna flip the whole thing back over. I thought this thing was gonna fall right on us. Part of the frozen earth that's here uh, just broke in half. So it shifted a little bit, but we're all good. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button right down below to follow along and see more videos. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, we're happy to help. All sorts of stuff for the front end loader. If you have a tractor for the three point hitch as well, we sell and ship all over the country. Give us a shot, check out goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Yeah.